Okay, James from Warrior Martial Arts Supply. We're here today with our video uh, assembly instructions for the corner mounted stand. Okay, we're going to start with the two outer pieces. I'm going to lay these out the best way we can to do most of this by yourself. Um, there's indication marks on the bottom of the right and left pieces of the 4x4. One's going to say R for right. Uh, there's also going to be an arrow. That arrow you should orientate facing upward. Uh, there's also a left, which is here. Now, just so you know, the left and right is your left and right facing the stand, so you don't mix up the two. Okay, so here we have our left uh, vertical piece. Okay, now we have our 4x4s orientated with the arrow up. We're going to mount these 48-inch 2x4s. Uh, basically, this is going to be a middle piece. This is going to be your left. We use these as spacers because we need an inch and a half space from the bottom and top when setting these. The best way to do this is to start one screw and take either a triangle or a square and make sure the boards are screwed at 90 degrees. We also want to make sure the boards are flush to the ends. Now we're going to repeat the same exact process on the top. To save time, I would suggest to do what we did here. Start all your screws. Okay, that's your first section. Next, we're going to do the other piece, the third piece, which is going to connect and make this 90 degrees. Okay, now we're going to just make ourselves a little bit of room. We're going to bring out the third vertical piece, which is the right. We're going to orientate the arrow face up. We're going to just use this to hold this board up in place while we screw it. But it's the same procedure. Get your space flush to the end. And then square. Okay, once that's done, uh, this part may be better to do with a helper. Uh, but let's see if we can manage this by myself. Okay, that's your right facing the stand. Okay, same as before, use a 2x4 for your spacer, flush to the end. Uh, next, we're going to put in the cross pieces, which are going to keep this from racking right to left uh, and front to back as well. The way these work, again, you got to find the one that fits properly. Okay. Where the two screws are, these are going to screw to the side of the 4x4 post. Where the single screw is in the middle is where you're going to screw to these uh, horizontal pieces. So the best way to do this is I like to just keep this nice and flat and slide it until you're flush on the end. Okay. 
Now, again, you may want to put a square on this or a level. And that looks pretty good. Center this. And basically, you're going to repeat that on all these sides. So for the back, same idea. Keep it flush here. Go to the end. Screw it. Once that's closed, keep that flat, and again, you go right to left, so this is flush. Put this in. Okay. That's it for the cross pieces. Okay, next piece that's going to go in is going to be the uh, I say hypotenuse of the triangle. It's going to go across here to support. It's a two by four. Everything is measured for you. You want to make sure you slide this two by four all the way forward till you hit the back of this post and flush to the outside. This is not only support, but this is also going to act as your weight tray. Uh, this stand, what's unique about it is you can screw it to the wall. This is again meant to fit in a, in a corner. Um, if you don't want to mount it to the wall, uh, you can use sandbags draped over these. Or we're going to put a pipe in here later on and that will allow you to stack uh, metal weights. So use that as a counterweight. Okay, save time, we already set the dummy up, we uh, put the arms and leg and the locking pins in. We also inserted the beams, which the dummy's going to hang on. Uh, just a quick way for you to set this up for your height, uh, makes it relatively easy. We stacked a, uh, well, we just have a box that we sit this dummy on, it's a platform. Basically you need to do the same thing, either a box or some books. We basically need you to just raise the dummy up so that your upper arms are going to be at a comfortable height for you. So wherever you like them upper arms to fall out, you basically want to build that dummy up until it's comfortable for you and your stance. This is about right for me. Uh, and also you want to center the dummy between these uh, horizontal pieces, which are your dummy slats. We also provide you with these dummy bumpers. These are optional. Some people want the dummy to slide right and left on the beams. Some people want it to stay put. Some people want it to just move a little bit. So basically, if you want it to stay put, you put these bumpers, four of them, locking the dummy in on the center of the beams. Um, or you can put them a couple inches aside so that when you do side strikes, you'll be able to slide the dummy a couple inches to the right, a couple inches to the left. But again, these are optional and they are supplied. Uh, the best way to do this is you have some play in this mortise here where the beam passes through. So we want this to sit properly and sit flat. And you probably need some help with this. But you basically want to lift this up so it sits flat, then throw a level on the top, and then make yourself a mark. This is where a partner would come 
in handy. When you have this in position, it's now level. You make a small indication mark on the top of this beam, top of that beam, and then you know where to put the lag bolt. Uh, since this is a customer's dummy, we're not going to put the big lag in because we're not sure what his height is. So I'm going to just pin it in with a small uh, regular three inch screw and this way we can fill that hole when we're done with the video. Okay, we're going to basically set this up just so you can see what it looks like when it's done. So I have my invisible imaginary level up here. We're going to raise it up to where it belongs. And then you're going to be using lag bolts. We're going to be using a screw. Check the level. Looks good. <laughs> Okay, you got to repeat the procedure on the bottom. You want to lift up that beam with the level uh, to the top of the mortise. This way when you remove your books or your block or your box, the dummy will sit with even pressure on the tops of both of those top and bottom beams. Okay, as we were saying before, uh, for weighing this stand down, you will get a pipe that threads into this flange, and that is in case you want to use metal plates for counterweight, you can use standard size plates, obviously you need a little more than 10 pounds, or you can use Olympic, either one, it's basically just to keep the weights in place so they don't fall off in training. Um, if you don't want to use this method, you can easily use two sandbags, just drape them over this, that will work just as well. Um, this stand also is unique because it fits in the corner of the room. Um, we designed it so these 2x4s here, uh, you can also screw through here, one, two, three, four, and if you did want to hit the bottom as well, you can screw that to the wall and that would be very secure. Uh, that would be recommended if, if you are able or willing to screw to the wall. If not